Hey YouTube, what's up? Blue Witch here. This will be like the third time I try to shoot this video. I don't even really have a purpose for it. Anyways, it's a spring cleaning video. Inspiration to clean. Anyways, so I just want to show you what's going on in the shop. Um, this is my little vanity thing that I do lots of spells right here, as you know. And... Um, I was just doing a little bit of honey jar magic. Um, my servitors over here. Um, that's their food down there. And, yeah, cool. This is my, my little heating unit. This is a light. It's cute. have my, um, crystals right there. Well, some of them. Um, and then over here, I have my my little area with my wands and my skull dudes. And then this guy right there is my family, my bloodline servitor. And of course my shop dog. Laying right in the middle of the floor. Huh, buddy? But anyway, so this guy, I have a whole, like, I got... I bought that ram skull for him and he didn't want it he didn't want it he didn't want to be in there he was not happy in there so I took him out and I just set him here while I was gonna like make something for him I was gonna try to like find some so I just set him there like to feed him when I took him out of the skull and he loved it in there. He like started like the energy was like, ooh, it was really intense. And um, he was letting me know that he was happy to be out of that skull. And so I was like, okay, you're no longer going to be in the skull. <laughs> and he's been happy there ever since. But anyways, and then in here in, in the stationary desk, I keep like all my supplies, my candles and and in the drawers are like full of incense and string and things like that. And then up here I have just some candles um, that are melting all over the place like crazy. Um, these are some coins I have sitting in salt and being charged a little bit with some crystal magic. Um, I like to use these for my... Um, for these to go on the back. Um, it helps balance them out as you know. I think I've already talked about that on here before. Um, and then in here are my, these are my car, my, my tarot cards. Um, I just have the regular ones, just the traditional ones in here. That's what I prefer. Um, this is something I could talk about. Um, this is a rock. Um, I usually have it in front of my stove. But I don't know if you guys do this with your rocks, but this rock is special. I see lots of faces. Look, there's one right there. Right there. Can you see it? Should I? Anyways, this rock is full of like little spirits. I don't know. I don't know why or how they got in there, but I see faces all over inside of this rock. So um, I feed it. I feed it with oils and energy. And then when I do my, um, when I do spells that require an earth element, I use this. This is my earth element, and I love it. And I've had it, I actually found it at the lake, or at, was it at the lake or the river? I can't remember if I got it at a river, the river or the lake. I think I got it at the river. I think it's a river rock, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, um, oh. Up in Rico. Re the Rico River is where I found that one, I think. Anyways, um, it has been with me. I never realized that it had all those little faces. I just kept it. I didn't know why, but I liked it, and I kept it. And um, now I know why, and I use it in my spells, and it just, like, came to me. And I just started putting oils on it, and I've just always done that now for a couple years, a few years now. Um, then over here on this side, I will show you. Um, this is my smudge wand, um, and it sits on a piece of beautiful river wood. 
Um, my gargoyle dude over here. This is Rumbler's bed. But as you can see, he prefers the middle of the floor. Um, this coffee grinder down here is an antique. And um, I do, I use it for spells too. Um, uh, my mortal and pestle. Um, and of course my ram skull. And my ram skull, okay. So... I usually, I've always only worked with Hecate. Um, she's the only one that ever came to me. She's the only one that, like, showed me and helped me and do all the, the she's just done so much for me. But anyways, um, and then lately, um, she's been telling me something's missing that you need to and I said, okay, well, what? And so she has been introducing me to Kernunis. And um, lots of little, and he's been coming to me um, every, every once in a while. He'll show up um, when I'm astro traveling or um, just different little things. And I'm like, you know, okay, so now I get it. Now I know. I asked her specifically, you know, straight up to show me in a dream. Um, and then she did. He came to me while I was astro traveling and we had an experience, if you know what I mean. If anyone's ever worked with Cornunis, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, so. Um, that happened, and it was pretty interesting, and so I think that that is the reason my purpose for this Ram Skull, which I'm completely honored and happy to, um, to do, to work with Cornunis. Um, I don't know how yet. Um, I usually do everything by instinct and how I feel and what I feel he would like and what I feel Hecate would like and I just let her guide me and I'm so used to doing that but with him I don't feel like I can do that right now I don't know him well enough yet to feel comfortable with that and so I've been trying to do research and guess what there's not a lot out there about him but it's okay, I'm still learning, and he's being really um, patient with me. I don't know if that's normal, but he, when I ran into him in the astral planes after we were done with our encounter, he very gently returned me to my body and said goodbye and or whatever put me back in my body and made me feel really safe and protected and it was pretty intense. Like I woke up, I just gently opened my eyes um, and I was just like, wow, that was crazy. It was so intense. I just, I, I cried a little, I'm not going to lie, but he was pretty awesome. He was pretty, um, He's awesome. Um, anyways, he's the first and only male god deity that has approached me and wanted to work with me. That I know of, anyways. Um, and so, Hecate um, wanted me to have that, that divine uh, masculine energy. That's what I was missing. Um, I'm very, I'm a very feminine person, um, you know, and she knows that and, and I needed that balance. And so she brought me that balance. Um, but anyway, so this is Hecate's altar. Um, these are some of my, you know, my herbs and stuff, my, some of my oils. Um, this is my little rattler, as you guys probably know, it's pretty cool, I love it. Anyways, um, I keep most of my books right now are inside. I have a quite a big collection um, growing. Um, been re doing a lot of research on different things that I've been experiencing, um, and I love it. And um, but yeah, 
So this is my shop. Oh, and up here, way up in there, up, up there. Um, I have a netting thing up there, but anyways, but up there is where I keep all of my dark, um, like my war waters and things like that are up there. I don't want them, um, to be down here. Um, some of my poisonous things, um, that, I, that, you know, Hecate, my Hecate stuff that have a little poison in them, um, I keep down here on her altar, or around the bottom part of her altar, you know, in, in, in jars and stuff, but, um, but like my war water, things like that, those go up there, because I don't want them with the rest of my stuff, and so, anyways, Oh, and this is my broom. I love my broom. Look at how pretty she is. Um, I could do a whole thing on that all by itself. That it, you have to feed them and um, just all kinds of things. They're pretty. It's pretty interesting. If you have a magical broom, you should look into it. It's pretty fun. Um, and I actually use it um, quite often, actually. And um, Anyways, what do we got going on here? <laughs> so glad I just cleaned that. Holy moly. Wow. That's awesome. It's all mixing together. That's pretty cool. That's alright. Anyways, so. Um, that's about it. I just wanted to check in with y'all and... And, you know, hope you guys all had a fantastic Valentine's Day. I had a great Valentine's Day. My husband loves to spoil me, so I won't brag. But it's hard not to sometimes. But anyways. Alright, so I'm out of here. Peace out. Have a great evening. Talk to you later.